Should you start a Facebook group for your business? Hi guys, I'm Christy Bilbrey. I'm a marketing strategist and brand story coach. Facebook groups have been growing like crazy the last couple of years, so this is definitely a trend that we need to talk about when it comes to your business. So what is the big deal with Facebook groups and how are they different from Facebook business pages? A lot of you have Facebook business pages and you post on them, but you've probably noticed that a lot of the engagement has gone way down because Facebook has not made this a priority in the news feeds of people who follow you. One place that Facebook is growing is in groups. At this point, it's expected that your business is gonna have a Facebook business page and anyone interested in you is gonna Google you, look up your website and social media. You can have call to actions, push your Instagram posts and reinforce your brand. So let's move beyond what's expected. According to socialmediatoday.com, Facebook groups are collaborative where your business page is more promotional. In groups, you're rallying people together around a topic. These are intended for members to engage, ask questions, share what's going on with this topic, stay on top of updates. This is a place where community is formed on that interest. A lot of groups are based on a topic. It could be how to be a successful entrepreneur. It could be about social media to grow your business, home-based businesses, beauty tips, do-it-yourself, gardening, personal finance. Let's say you have a ConvertKit account for your email marketing. There's a group of people who just talk about ConvertKit, what's working, what isn't, ask questions, and get immediate feedback from people. Groups are a really great place for people who are all focused on one thing, to learn from each other, support and help each other, and give tips. These have been invaluable to me. I don't have my own group yet, but here's a secret. I'm getting ready to start one. And it's gonna be about becoming an effective storyteller in your business because that's how people engage with you and they trust you more when you share more of who you are with them while being authentic at the same time. High conversion rates, good stuff. Well, that's the reason why I've been on the hunt to learn as much as I can about groups. So here are the benefits. Unlike your business page, people will get notified when you post something new in your group. So this helps your visibility, but that's not the only thing. It's gonna bring people in who are interested on the topic, but they may not be on your email list. They just wanna know more about this. Also, you're able to promote whatever you sell in the group. You can have people give testimonials who've worked with you or bought your products and post those all in the group. But selling your product shouldn't be the main point of the group or people aren't gonna stick around. The point is to educate keep people and keep them up to date on this area of interest and establish yourself as an authority, give you some credibility. So when people wanna know about this topic, they come to your group. What was successful a year ago were these broad topics like how to be a successful entrepreneur, general tips on coaching. These are starting to fade. You're gonna see a lot more niche topics now. I'm in one called the BizTech Collective and it's mostly women small business owners who are working from home. A lot have online businesses and this is where they go to learn more about business technologies that they can implement in their businesses. They can ask questions if they wanna know whether or not they should use WordPress or Squarespace, if they're debating how to create their website, they can ask people, what do you use? What do you like about it? What do you hate about it? And why? Help me make this topic. So it's really great in decision-making, or if you're saying, I'm in the middle of doing this and it's just not working, what am I doing wrong? Here's a screenshot. So I hope that shows you how you can learn more about Facebook groups, and if you're not using them, I hope that you'll explore a little bit. I am gonna be sharing more about this topic coming soon. I hope this gives you a little more information about the difference between Facebook groups and pages. And if you like this video, if you found it helpful, I would love for you to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this with those you care about. Until next time, I'm wishing you great success.